Come, traveler, let us speak. Thank you for saving Majadro's disciples. You have a courageous spirit. It will do you well should you decide to stay in elsewhere. And this one does hope you decide to stay. The Khajiit need heroes like you during these dark times. And only more to come, this one fears. Before you leave, you should speak to Zamorak. It seems that he's also decided to leave us. Perhaps he can help guide you to your next location. Welcome. What? what will we do now? Starhaven is no longer safe. Who knows when it'll be attacked again? To give in to despair, this is easy. Let us instead find strength and hope. Joan and Jold will one day shine on Starhaven again. This we must continue to believe. Ijadi will look after her fellow adepts, don't you fear? Though this one knows it will not be easy to return Starhaven. We must rebuild Starhaven. Here you are, saving all of us with your heroic deeds. And what does Runji do? He faints at the first sight of danger. If we are to survive, he must become stronger. He must! Starhaven is safe, but the danger is far from over. I fear there is still much to do, Walker. The letter you carried. Zamarak must confess that he read it while you were recovering. This one has heard of Abner Thorn. He is a battle mage. Zamarak wants to help the Khajiiti Defense Force, but he has something he needs to check on first. But you, Walker, your aid would be immeasurable. Find Abner Tharn in Riverhold. Offer your assistance against the dragons.
Hurry to Riverhold. Find this tarn. Meanwhile, Zamarak must go. No good can come of that place. Greetings, Walker. You are not also going to the abode of ignominy, are you? As its name implies, it is a moonless place full of forgotten secrets. This one saw a stranger setting up camp outside the cave nearby. Local legend says that Mafala worshippers used to live there, raising dead too, I think. A Khajiit woman, Cathay by the look of her. She wore the attire of a sorcerer. But then I could put on a tin crown and claim that I am an emperor. Ha! 
Are you? Did Caldethir send you? Well, don't even try to stop me. Oh, well then, greetings. My name is Naramako, and I intend to walk right into this spooky cave and find the works of a brilliant Kajiti mage. Before you ask, yes, it is full of slavering, undead, and yes, I am petrified to the point of weeping. You mean to help? Well, I guess there's no harm in delegating. According to my research, a powerful wizard named Marzulajo used this place as his laboratory. If you find his notes and any memory stones he might have left behind, I would be indebted. Thank you for looking into this, Walker. I can't wait to rub this discovery in that sour-tongued Kaldathir's face. It's always be careful with this and don't meddle with that. He's just a fat old bully. According to my research, Marzullo Joe had a great fondness for animals, just like me. He even discovered ways to bring them back to life. At least I think he did. Fuzzy. Yes! You're not going to scold me like Kaldathir, are you? It's just a frog. A single hoppy little frog. What harm could that do? Anyway, he's the one who made me kill the poor thing. And for what? A water 